So welcome back aliens, this is Narvin Reddy from Thalys for Learnings and in this video we'll see how to set up Scala. Now once we, ha once we know what is Scala, once we know why we need to learn it and the prerequisite and the prerequisite to learn Scala is Java of course. So you should know the basics of Java and you're good to go. So let's in this video we'll see how to set up Scala so that we can work on it and of course right when you work with any programming language let's say C, C, I mean C, C++, Java the first step you have to do is you have to download some software so that we can work on it. So for Scala what we need. Now Scala since as we know that Scala works on JVM so that means since Scala works on JVM Eclipse supports the languages which works on JVM so we can run Scala on Eclipse right and that's one of the amazing thing about Scala so you can you don't have to learn a different IDE for that you can simply use Eclipse which is our old golden Eclipse which we work with Java right so we can we can do we can work with Scala on Eclipse also but if you go to the official website of uh, Scala so you just have to search for Scala and it will take you to the official website which is Scala Lang Org right and if you go here so see the heading it is object oriented meets functional and that is awesomeness you know Scala is both object oriented and functional so it has lots of power in it so if you want to be a powerful programmer Scala is the way and the latest version of Scala is 2.11.8 and these are the features of Scala it says uh, Java interoperability uh, then type inference then it, is, it provides concurrency and distribution uh, it, it supports higher order function I am very excited for this part uh, then it has pattern matching it has threads now if you know interfaces in Java that is threads and uh, threads in, in Scala I have to learn the pronunciation of it first okay so we can so we can go to this, this download tab here and if you click on this download you can see your you got three options so you got this option which is the download uh, the binary version of it so that you can if you want to work in work on terminal or if you want to work on CMD this is the best way uh, you can also use the uh, light bend activator this is another tool which we can use so if you use this tool it is a web based tool so that means the software will be installed on your machine but to access that we have to use web browser so if you will be typing your code on web browser you will running out in your web browser okay this is an amazing tool in fact uh, if you download this it is very heavy file around 700 MB if I'm not wrong and we can also use the Scala on IDE so you can run Scala on Eclipse you can run Scala on IntelliJ or you can learn I mean you can run Scala on NetBeans and this is I mean so if you work with this you have to do this step so if you click on this need help in installation you have to set all these parts that's one way a uh, second way if you download this one again we'll be using Scala IDE Eclipse in for our tutorials but let me show you how this works so if you download this part and if you unzip it this is how it looks so this is how it will look like go to bin and there's an the option of activator disk again you don't have to do this it is just for if you are curious about it then you can do the experiment otherwise leave it leave this we'll see this once we got some experience on Scala so it will take some time to open uh, don't worry I just uh, uh, I have just changed the font of my terminal that's why it is giving uh, showing you so, so much big of I mean big text there so it will open in this way uh, yeah, you can create a new project so you can you can click on Scala here so this is Scala uh, this is slick slick is for a database I mean if you want to work with uh, some database framework with Scala we can use click we can also use play framework here uh, play is amazing framework to work with so if you click on Scala it will ask you to create an application uh, so I, I have done some experiments so I already have an application here the point to remember is this Scala I mean this Scala is supported by type safe company and if you click on this uh, project I mean if you click on the existing app which I have created so this is how it looks like uh, I will say run an inspect app object so that's code and where is my code so this is what I was doing on that day I, I was doing some experiment I was printing all those stuff you can just simply run this code by clicking here and you can see the output in the run tab and you can see we got the output okay so we can we can use this this window okay but I'm not a big fan of this window I, I don't like web console based uh, things but if you like it you can you can explore this this thing there's no harm in that but my interest is more on the Scala on Eclipse okay now how to do that so there are two ways 
one you can download this Scala IDE itself which will be around 200 to 300 MB I'm not sure about the size the another way is if you already have Eclipse in your machine see if you can if you can click on this it will download the whole Eclipse for you where you'll be having Scala in build but if you already have a uh, Eclipse in your machine where you you used to work with uh, Java what you can do is example I have I have my Eclipse here so you can see I have Eclipse here but in this Eclipse I don't have Scala you can see if I click on new there's no Scala project option here and even if I change the perspective to Scala there's no option of Scala here so for that we have to go to downloads and latest table uh, you just have to select this URL here copy it and go to help go to install new software in your Eclipse and paste that URL here so once you paste it here it will give you it will show you all those options and which two things you have to install you have to install the Scala IDE for Eclipse and you have to install Scala worksheet again we'll talk about worksheet a bit later select those two click on next it will download this stuff for you and then you have to say next next and your Scala will be installed on your Eclipse now once you install Scala on Eclipse your Eclipse will look like this okay and if you open the perspective you can see you will get Scala there you just have to click on OK and you will get a Scala perspective here and now if you right click on your project it will say new and you got the option of Scala project now this is possible only when you have downloaded the Scala plugin so click on Scala project you can give any name will say first code and you can see it says runtime environment is Java SE I mean that's awesome right Scala works on JVM what else we need click on next and click on finish you got your first Scala project so you can see it has two things it has certain it has certain libraries for Scala it has certain libraries for Java that means you can write Scala code inside this you can also write Java code inside this so you can write both the codes in one project and that's why I'm very excited for this okay uh, so let's say if you are a web developer and you're working on spring framework you're working on hibernate you can also use Scala in your, in your, in your web application okay so that's that's something which is awesome about Scala so that's our first project uh, in the next video we'll talk about how to write our first code so yeah that's it from this video I hope you enjoyed the video and if you enjoyed it please like the video let me know that you're, you're liking my videos and do subscribe if you're not subscribed and if you like my video you can also comment with good words or otherwise you can you can also complain there but do comment do like and do share thank you so much